possible. As the ducks are going as slow as possible across the road. See, the traffic is yielding to these little ducks because the male duck went first. I don't know if you can tell, but he's the one with the green head. And then the female followed him, but like a five second delay. And he waited too. He knew when cars were swimming. <laughs> so they were quite smart. <laughs> but still, they were going as slow as possible. <laughs> When well, speaking of ducks and, and loons and Canadian geese, which we weren't really speaking about when we just saw it, Canada has a new national bird. No, it's done. It's official. It's gone through. It's uh, because it's found in every province and territory. I don't remember what it's called. It's some kind of jay. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, ours. This is the stellar jay. And I want to say the national one used to be a robin. When you have a I swear that's what I saw in my coloring book. But I could be wrong because each province has like their own provincial bird and flag and all that kind of stuff. So everybody has their own official emblems and symbols for each province and territory. So it does get a little confusing because then you have all these places and then you have the national ones. <laughs> but no, yeah, the bird is, is new. Yeah, it definitely looks great. It's great. It's a It's great. <laughs> yeah, friendly, strong, and I heard somebody say, "Oh, it's just like Canadian." Yeah, it's a three. It was three words. Friendly, strong, and then they say they picked it because it was found all over Canada, and its qualities and traits, personality traits, are what you would associate with Canada. Yeah, there was a lot of in-depth thought went into it. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.